Hi. Hello. This is Meet and Siddharth. Meet. Today's topic is stress strain graph. Right? What is the topic? Stress strain graph. You know, uh, which is the most beautiful graph in the world? So, Steffi graph. Yes, Steffi graph. You are a fan of Steffi graph? Yes, sir. Uh, show it to camera. So, most beautiful graph is Steffi graph, right? Most beautiful <laughs> yes, graph sir. is Steffi graph. But we are going to discuss about stress strain graph. Right? That is for ductile material. Actually, the stress strain graph is the result of tensile test. Uh, fundamentals of tensile test we have discussed in the previous video. Right? You know, what are the properties that can be found from a tensile test? Can you list out? Uh, Do you remember what are the types of load? Yes. Yes. Tensile load, tensile load, compressive load, fatigue load, impact shear load, load, torsional load, impact load. load. Tensile load is, it is axial pulling. When you are pulling a specimen, what happens? There is an elongation. There is an elongation or deformation. Now the deformation can be divided into two types. One is elastic deformation and another one is plastic deformation. So what's the difference between elastic deformation and plastic deformation? Elastic deformation and plastic deformation both are deformation, right? Elastic deformation it is temporary deformation. If you apply load, there will be deformation. If you remove the load, the deformation will disappear. That is elastic deformation, temporary deformation. And plastic deformation is a permanent deformation. If you apply load beyond a particular limit, the deformation is permanent in the material. That is plastic deformation, right? You know there are two types of deformation, elastic deformation and plastic deformation. But in between elastic deformation and plastic deformation, there is another type of deformation, analastic deformation. We will discuss about this in the next video. <coughs> right? First phase, it is elastic deformation. From here to here, it is elastic deformation. And from here to here, it is plastic deformation. Or we can put like this. Elastic and this is plastic. Plastic deformation. Right? What are all the properties we can determine from a tensile test? Let us go by an order. The first one, this is what is PM? There may be many meanings, but PL here it is proportional limit. Proportional limit. And this is elastic limit. This is elastic limit. Right? Yes. Elastic limit. And this point is yield point. Yield is stress or yield point. And what is it? Ultimate. Ultimate stress. Can you spell ultimate? Ultimate. So it is ultimate point. Ultimate. At this point, finally, when we uh, deform the material, finally fracture takes place. The breaking takes place. So this is breaking point. Our BP rises, breaking point. Yes, sir. BP rises. Sir, what is the difference between elastic limit and proportional limit? Uh, yeah, right. It is a good question. Maybe you know. Yes, sir. The Hooke's law. Yes, sir. What is Hooke's law? Hooke's law states that stress is directly proportional to strain within the elastic limit. You have to stress that within the elastic limit. Yes. So, with elastic limit is here. Within the elastic limit, stress is directly proportional to strain. The point up to which the stress is directly proportional to strain is the proportional limit. limit. And elastic limit is the point where the material loses its elastic property. So this is the difference between proportional limit and yeah. elastic limit. Uh, then this is yield point. But what is the yield? Yeah, material yields the plastic deformation. It yields permanent deformation. Fine. So yes. next is ultimate point. What is it? Ultimate. Point. The maximum. Ultimate point. Right. And then after this, the material 
breaks. 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 Finally, the material breaks. breaks. Breaking point. At that point, our BP rises. Breaking point. Our BP rises. So that's all there. No, mate. Actually, in addition to these points, in addition to proportional limit, elastic limit, yield point, ultimate point, and breaking point, we can find out the strain at fracture. It is a measure of ductility. Right? Uh, then, we can find out Young's modulus. Young's modulus within the elastic limit, the ratio of stress to strain is the Young's modulus. Y by X. The ratio of stress to strain is the Young's modulus. So, sir, this is Young's modulus. Is there any Old's modulus? Yeah, Old's modulus may be there. This is stress strain graph. This is stress strain graph. In stress strain graph, we find Young's modulus. If you uh, refer Steffi graph, there may be some old modulus. Oh. Steffi graph is old now, right? Yeah, it's old. Yeah. So, in stress strain graph, we can find X modulus. Maybe in Steffi graph, we can find old modulus. Then, you know what is uh, yeah. the area under the curve up to fracture? Actually, the area under the curve is a measure of toughness. What is the unit for toughness? Stress is same unit. Joules. Joules. Right? The energy absorbed by the material up to fracture. Joules. Right? In another way, we can write like this. Newton meter. Newton meter. Okay? Now, you check the area. Stress. Sorry, Newton per meter square. Strain. No unit. Area. It is Newton per meter square. Newton per meter square. The area under the curve is Newton per meter square. Um, if you take Newton meter, the energy absorbed by the material up to fracture per unit volume, meter cube. If you put meter cube, this will become Newton per meter square. So, the area under the curve up to fracture, it is modulus of toughness. It is an indication of toughness. It is modulus, not directly the toughness, it is modulus of toughness. So, so what is you have drawn an area here also. So, what is this area called, sir, for, till up to elastic limit? Yeah, up to elastic limit, the area under the curve up to elastic limit, it is modulus of resilience. It will be useful in uh, spring materials. So, sir, what are the definition and the units of these points? Yeah, good question. Actually, the proportional limit, definition for proportional limit, the stress limit up to which the stress is directly proportional to strain. That is proportional limit. Elastic limit is the stress limit up to which the material has elastic property. And this is the stress limit at which the material yield plastic deformation, that is yield point or yield stress. The maximum stress limit the material can withstand, so that is ultimate point. And stress at fracture, it is breaking point. Therefore, for all these points, proportional limit, elastic limit, yield point, ultimate point and breaking point, the unit is Newton per meter square or Newton per millimeter square. Bye. Bye.